The saints in the sacrament confession, there are specific priests that are canonized saints that you can pray to to help you to make a good confession. I'll mention a list of them and ask them to pray for you before you go to confession. One is a saint that died in 1968 and he was canonized just a few years ago. His name was Saint Padre Pio. He spent many, many hours in the confessional. He had the stigmata, the wounds of Christ. He purposely was a victim soul to suffer for the sinners, that they would be converted of their sins. Next would be St. John Bosco. St. John Bosco was an ardent, zealous promoter of the sacrament, sacrament confession. He would spend long, long hours in the confessional, confessing, especially the boys that were in his oratory. He believed in frequent confession, frequent communion, in devotion to Mary as the means to arrive at holiness. Another great confessor would be a small Franciscan priest named Saint Leopold Mandik, a man that spent many hours in confessional in the city of Padua. Another would be that of Saint Joseph Cafasso, who was the spiritual director of Saint John Bosco. Saint Joseph Cafasso, we read in his life, would sometimes be in the confessional from 7 o'clock in the morning until 12 midnight, spending long hours in the confessional. Another patron of the sacrament confession would be John Francis Regis, who was a Jesuit priest that lived in the early 1600s, so much so that he was a popular mission preacher and he was found in the confessional he had actually fainted in confessional, and shortly after that he died, a zealous, zealous lover of the confession. But probably the most famous confessor in the history of the Catholic Church would be St. John Maria Vianney or the Curie of Ars. This great man of God who struggled so much to be ordained to the priesthood because he didn't have too much memory, was ordained to the, priest, to the priesthood. He arrives at Ars and a dilapidated city, town in which many people had abandoned the faith. He prays, he fasts, he spends long hours. Then eventually people start to come to the church, and then they come to the confessional. So much so that he spent, in his 40 years as a priest, he was spending 13, 14, 15, sometimes 16 or 17 hours in the confessional reconciling souls to God. Last but not least, the founder of the Oblates of the Virgin Mary, Venerable Father Bruno Pio Lanteri, encouraged his sons, of which I am one of them, Father Edward Brome, an Oblate of the Virgin Mary, encouraged his sons to spend time at the confessional to reconcile souls to God. So much so that Father Bruno Lanteri said this, the oblate should die in the pulpit or die in the confessional. So my friends, have recourse to these great men of God. Have recourse to these great saints. Ask them to pray for priests, to pray for future vocations, and to pray for yourself so that you will make a good confession and experience the abundant mercy of the heart of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.